Hi guys, it's Adam, um, eBay reseller. Today I have a very micro haul video um, with also something um, for packaging. I got a tip off my granddad actually, um, which I've used a couple of times and it seems to be okay. And also I'm going to show you a couple of quick Lego builds that I did the other day. Um, and I've got this hat on today because over here, I have, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that very well. It's not going to focus very well, this camera isn't very good. There you go, you can just about see that there. I have my Sig Fig and a Lego minifigure. Um, basically a Sig Fig, yeah, is a, a, a Lego minifigure that looks like you. So, I have my hat and I couldn't find a flat cap, which I, I usually wear flat caps, but I couldn't find a flat cap, so I went with a Stetson, I think that is. Something like that, anyway. Um, with a little shirt and tie, because um, I used to really be into wearing shirts and ties and stuff. And I've actually got, in my wardrobe here, loads and loads of shirts and ties and braces and waistcoats and etc. I used to always wear them. Um, I don't as much anymore, but I do wear them for um, special occasions and stuff. Um... But yeah, I, I made my own little sig fig, so I've got that and I've got a few little bits I picked up from a charity shop. I went, I went into town, my local town, which is only a couple of miles away, um, and I hitched a ride with my friend who had an interview. Um, and so it was it was ideal timing really, so I just thought I'd go in and get a few, di few different things. Um, so I got a fee in it, I paid a pound for that. Um, I know that I can only usually get like six ninety nine for these, and there's not much point in me picking them up. But I'm thinking at Christmas it might, so I might get a tenner for it. So um, that might leave me with a fiver profit. So I'm thinking wait till nearer Christmas and put it on, put it on for a tenner something like that, and just hope for the best. Really, I've sold these at six ninety nine before, but. Um, that was when I was just sort of getting into reselling and I, I, I realise now that there's no point in doing that because it left me with like £1.50 net profit, £2 net profit. But if I can shoot for a 10 or 11 quid, then it's probably just about worth my, worth my while. Um, I took a punt on this battered looking, I think it's probably... 80s or 90s by the look of the box by the kids on the box um, but it's called Mr. Pop and it was reduced you see there it says a pound but then in my local charity shop whenever it has a red X on it's been sat there for ages and been reduced and this was 25 pence believe it or not um, it says 120, but it, it was 25 pence anyway. It says 125 there, but it's got a little red X on. I always look for these red X's um, in my Age UK shop. It is a one pound shop, but then they mark things down to ridiculously low prices. Um, so this is 25p, and I thought, I've got to go on this. I can't. It's an MB. It's sort of vintage ish. It, it's fell. I think it's complete. I did have a look in it. It looks complete, but I wouldn't know. It is battered to hell. I mean, there's tape. It, it is really battered, and obviously with board games, you, you do want them to be in the best condition, but I just thought for 25p, it's got to be worth sort of 7, 8 quid. If it's MB, and it, it just, just sort of shouted out to me that it's worth something, so I don't know. But if it, if not, if it's a fail, it's 25p at the end of the day, and I can sell that for a quid at a boot, boot fair anyway, and just uh, set up a stall, and I've got quite a lot to go to the uh, car boots already, and I, I won't be doing one until next year now, but I can just put it for a quid at the, the boot fair and, and still make profit on it. Mm. And then we have Battleship. Um, I paid... Two pound for this, and it's all right. Um, that I, I I wouldn't pay more than that. Uh, boot fairs will usually pay like fifty p, 
But um, yeah, it's a nice condition. I don't, I've not actually seen this version before. I'm familiar with the other version. Um, but yeah, I've not seen this version. I think this is later than the other version. Yeah, 1996. I think the other version's like 91 or something like that. But um, I think it'll still go for a tenner. So two pound into a tenner, it's not bad. Um, may may stretch for twelve, being as it's the time of year sort of thing. Um, but two two pound, if I can get twelve for it, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's probably a good six or seven pound profit in it. Uh, right now, I, oh, and by the way, my blinds and everything are closed because of the lighting situation. It is actually daytime outside, believe it or not. It doesn't look like it's daytime, but it is. Um, so, yeah, this. This is the packaging stuff that I got a tip off my granddad for. Um, he's given me this roll for free, um, but he said you can get it online for really, really cheap. And all it is is black cling film, I'm not going to take the loads off but basically you can get it online and I've researched this, it's about one pence per meter and per package you're roughly going to use about two, well not even two, may maybe two meters um, maybe two meters on a bigger package but um, what you can do is you can wrap this round it a couple of times which I did for, well, my packages are out today, I, I sent five packages out today, it was a pretty good day late yesterday, and I sent the five packages out, but yeah, I wrapped this round it twice that way, and then twice the other way, and it seemed pretty secure, but I, I'm only going to do this for sort of sturdy boxes, that, say for example, um, for example, if I've put some mugs in a box or something, I might use this to tidy up the box or something, or uh, because seeing as I got it for free anyway, but if I, if I was buying more of this for myself and paying the one pence per metre, I'd probably use it for sturdier box and just trying to think. So, for example, this Guess Who here, it's a really sturdy box. It's it, If it gets sort of hit around it's not gonna be mega damaged but what I'm gonna do is put I've got some bubble wrap in the other room put little bits of bubble wrap on the corners to protect the corners because they're the most likely to get bashed so in all these corners put bits of bubble wrap around them and then wrap it round twice that way twice that way and it should be sort of secure enough uh, and that way it only cost me literally two or three pence in packaging um, and then a little bit of bubble wrap which I try and sort of find for free in various places um, but yeah so it, it, it or if I get a package or whatever I find a bit of bubble wrap in it um, so yeah it keeps my packaging cost really low although on some things I'm gonna have to use poly bags or or boxes or something like that and if the box is like for example on this battleship it's a bit sort of damaged and stuff I'm not gonna do the cling film for that I'll put it in um, a, a poly bag with some bubble wrap um, as well to really protect it um, I may, be, may even double poly it because the polys I get are literally like four pence each anyway, um, four or five pence each, which is ridiculously cheap. Um, but also the polys I get aren't very good quality, so I usually have to double double up anyway uh, and just sort of take the hit the eight pence or the ten pence or whatever packaging costs. But I think that way is pretty good. Um, it's certainly quick to do, but I don't know, it, de it depends what works for you. I would only use this on less fragile items, more sturdy boxes. I'd probably use it on that Scenic. That Scenic's seen quite a sturdy, strong box, so I'd probably use it on that. Um, but with certain ones, like obviously the Mr. Pop and the Battleship, that I wouldn't use this on. But it is quite good. I mean, if you, you can get it for cheap enough. You can get six rolls at 200 metres a roll. Um, for like 19 pounds on eBay, which works out at less 
it's about 1.1 pence or 1.2 pence, I don't know exactly, but it is pretty much nothing. So lastly of all, and if you're not into LEGO, you might want to sign off now and uh, go and watch someone else's video, one of Nick Kells' videos or something, or one of uh, Tom's videos. But I did a little LEGO set the other day. I don't know whether this is going to focus, but there you go. The Lincoln Memorial, it says there. There you go. And it's not going to, because of a lighting situation, it's not really going to focus much. But you can sort of see there, and it's got some little pieces on the top for the roof panels. Um, as I said, I'm really into Lego, and I've got tons of sets down here, usually smaller sets, um, but I am getting into the larger sets, so this is the Phantom from Star Wars Rebels, and you've got a little spring loaded thing on here, it's quite cool, um, but yeah, if you're not into Lego, it's not really that fun, but I am very ecstatic about these things, I love, love Lego, so I built this last night, and this is a Lego architecture set, um, and you can get some really good that actually comes off so you can see inside and there's Lincoln sat down there that thing there um, but you can get some really cool sets you can get Big Ben you can get um, the White Tower you can get the Lincoln Memorial uh, Trevi Fountains um, there's, there's tons there's about I'd say there's 20, 20 sets or something that you can get, and it's quite cool, um, but obviously Lego is more for children, but you can get the Lego architecture sets, and I'll actually just show you this, that's the actual box, and it's, I mean it says there, however it is, 12 plus, yeah, so it isn't really for kids, these builds, these are the more these are the builds, and you can see that by the box, these are the builds for adults, or at least older children. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's quite, I really do enjoy building Lego, although it is expensive. Um, and I do sell it as well, so uh, the money I make from selling it helps me to buy more Lego for myself, if, if you like. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying my builds, and I will keep you up to date if you want to be kept up to date if you don't and you just think I'm a, a, a dribbling moron uh, a dribbling moron even um, then post a comment below to say to, say to me if you want to see more of this or you don't if you don't I won't do it I'll keep it to myself but if you do if, if you want to see what I've been building at the end of each video or whatever then that's fine by me I'll, I'll show it to you um, so anyway you can get this set on Amazon for £20 just if you want it the piece count is about 270 odd and for the piece to price ratio which is how much it costs you per piece it's quite bad um, on some of the other sets the piece to price ratio is a lot higher so you get more pieces for your money if you like um, but it's a nice little set and it's really fun to build the, the most enjoyable part is building the Lego obviously but it's really nice I've got it up there on my sort of shelf thing, and it's just nice to look at. Uh, it is a quite a nice set to look at. Um, but anyway, yeah, so drop a comment if you don't want to see this part of the videos again. Or if you do, I'm, I'll be happy to share with you my uh, Lego builds. So I'll see you soon, guys, with probably a haul video. See you then.